When you left this town with your windows down in the wilderness inside Let the exits pass all the tar and glass to the road and skyline The strangers in this town They raise you up Oh my god, it's almost out of battery <laughs> Wow, it looks so different than the last vlog Hey! Hello! Here we are! We're in Italy! We're talking to the camera now. This is weird. Italia! We are in Italy, Florence, Italy, and we're going to Pisa. Right, RN. And we're exchanging monies! Woo! Well, I'm, I'm getting money, you're exchanging money. Yeah. <laughs> Brisk pace! Brisk pace! Am I walking too fast? <laughs> yeah. You're so grown old and rusty, but beneath the rising sun We are in Pisa. I feel like, shouldn't we see the tower back from here? No. I don't know. No? No. Okay. I've heard it's not as big as people have noticed. <laughs> I mean it's a lonely road for the tired men. And you can see it in your face. Hey! Hello! Well, <laughs> we went to the tower, I promise. But we didn't vlog it. So sorry. <laughs> I'll insert a picture. Boop. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gave you my love, you gave me nothing Said what I gave wasn't enough You had me feeling I was foolish forever Thinking this could be the one I wasn't even in the running Woo! Woohoo! Say something to the camera I'm gonna have cheese! Italy's great! The most Italian thing you've ever heard It started with a low light Next thing I knew they Done this in a while. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, this is the gate that we see. You saw walking the other day. So, since I didn't say it earlier, where are we? We're at the Bobley Gardens. We're at the Bobley Gardens, which is the gardens behind Palazzo Pitti. It's behind Palazzo Pitti. It's huge, and all uphill right now. Yeah. We'll see where it goes. The rest of the way is downhill. Okay. And you know A place called Mamma Mia. Isn't that the most stereotypical thing? But it's like an actual thing they say. Yeah. Like it's a real, like, Mamma Mia. It's a, it's, you say it like, oh my god, like, what are you doing? Who are you? Hey guys. So I'm in a bathroom right now in um, La Specula Museum. I apologize for just myself watching these in the future and just in general. I'm like very out of the vlog game. Like, I forgot how to like talk to a camera. Because in Tanzania, I didn't really do it that often. I, there's a lot more like scenery and like not a lot to explain in this whole video. I'm so sorry. What can you do? Let me just tell the story because I want to hear it said out loud by myself and like be able to see it later and be like, holy sh. Um, we were leaving out of Kilimanjaro Airport December 6th. The, like, that was just the plan. We were the 9.45 flight. So we were like sitting around after our final lunch until we were going to be taken to the airport. So we were taken to the airport by someone who was helping the program. When we get there, there's no organization. We just kind of like take a squat on the floor. Eventually, they like our flight gets canceled because our, we have a sick pilot. And so like one, like what? <laughs> Why don't you have a backup pilot? You should. Okay. Anyways, and then they like didn't know what to do about it, so they were trying to get us on other flights that were leaving the same night. 
going through different big airports. They gave everyone like either you're going through Nairobi or Istanbul. We got Istanbul, which is good because if you're going through Nairobi, you need a yellow fever shot and like some of us didn't have our cards with us or we like lost them. But that was at 6 a.m. the next morning. So they were like trying to usher us, like almost forcing us to go to a hotel. We didn't want to go to the hotel because we didn't really trust that they would come pick us up at 4 a.m. So we stayed at the airport. So like once everyone else left who was on the flight, we like went upstairs, got food. The waitress was drinking. Up until that point, like we had had no problems, you know? Like I hadn't been sick the whole time. So I end up with my first ever case of food poisoning while sleeping at an airport on like airport benches. And I like wake up and like almost immediately like know that something's wrong and it's like four in the morning and like we're like about to try to check into our flight. We find out <laughs> that Turkish Airlines, which was gonna take us to Istanbul, had enough space for the, all of us but not enough food. And so it's against their policy to fly people when they don't have enough food and like not we don't really care. I didn't want to eat anything. But like I had thrown up like twice already and then they told us that and we're like, well, okay, alright. This is it then. <laughs> I guess we'll go to the hotel. So we go to the hotel. The buses take forever to take us. Then we get to our hotel. I'm bedridden. I'm out. There's like millions of people like trying to figure out what to do. Like everyone's like crying and like really upset because the hotel they took us to was so far away. Like normally they take you to like an airport hotel. No. They took us all the way back to Arusha which is about an hour or two away, depending on traffic. And the hotel didn't even know that we weren't paying. Like, they didn't know. The airline didn't tell them that the airline was going to pay, so they were expecting us to pay for this hotel. And we weren't even there overnight, so we were there for a day. It was nice because I had time to recover. I never got an email, so, like, I was, like, freaking out. And, like, still, I was throwing up in the afternoon also. I threw up, like, four times. Everyone else had gotten an email saying, like with like a new confirmation, flight confirmation through Nairobi, except me. So I was like freaking out. So they were just like, we're just gonna take you to the airport anyways. So then we got bussed back to the airport for an 850 flight. I ended up having the flight, which was great. So I got on that flight, got to Nairobi, almost missed my flight to Amsterdam because for some reason I was under some weird impression that it was a nine hour layover. But I like showed up anyways, cause I was like, hmm, maybe I can get on an earlier one, but that was actually my flight. So then, get to Amsterdam, I have a 13 hour layover. Um, I check in my bag like four hours early. So then we almost fly to Florence. Right before we land, we like, he like revs the engine or whatever the frig you do when <laughs> you go on a plane upwards. Okay, they like tell us, they're like, um, we're gonna try to wait for the wind to die down because there's a mountain too close to the airport and it's a small airport, there's only one runway, so like there's no messing up. So if the wind messes us up, we, we would be dead. So we like hover around Florence for a while, then decide that we need to divert to Bologna. And it's like midnight at this point. We land in Bologna get off the plane, go collect our bags, except guess what? <laughs> my bag's not there. They lost my bag. I might be able to find it. It might be at Florence, but it was too late for me to collect it because it was all closed. Um, so I'm gonna go and see if I can get it tomorrow on before I leave. Or maybe it's still in Amsterdam. Who knows? I know. I just have like my little fiel right then. I don't know, I made it to Italy, so that's my story. I have still gotten no reimbursement and no help and they haven't even like acknowledged my existence. We're gonna see about that. But now I'm in a museum and I'm gonna go check out the museum. I'm in a fine mood. I'm like, it's all over now. But like just like retelling the story, like it's unbelievable. Here's some footage from the museum probably. Who knows, maybe I'll be back with Delaney. She's in class right now. Talk to you guys later. <laughs>
So, as you can see, I'm no longer in that museum. I went out to get coffee with Delaney and her friend Caroline. Now I'm just wandering around because they have a final right now. I think I'm at the Leonardo da Vinci Museum, but I'm really not sure. Here's a look around, you know? I was clean, a patron. I was young and an actress. When you knelt by my mattress and asked for my hand, but I was sad. You asked it as I laid it. Oh, so we are back in the humble abode. Um, I'm leaving Italy tomorrow, so I'm just gonna close up this little video, and I will see you guys in Amsterdam.